we're going to have a quick look at how to do updates for your apps using the App Store. So as you can see on the front screen of my phone here I've got the App Store icon in the bottom left uh, and it's got a little notification there saying 18. 18 here means how many updates I have available to me. So if I click on the App Store uh, it'll take a second to load up uh, and it's already on the updates tab, this one on the right here. It'll load up and you can see here it's got all my apps that have updates available. Um, when I'm here, if I just want to have a look at an individual update, uh, so say I want to look at Twitter, if I just click on Twitter, it'll come across, it'll show me this update fixes a couple of issues, and if you're having errors, then get in contact, that sort of thing. Uh, if I just want to update that app, just that one, so say I'm on 3G or something like that, and you don't want to use lots and lots of bandwidth, lots of data, but you do need to update one app, then you can do this just to individually update. So you just hit um, hit update, put in your password, hit OK, and then it'll take you and show you that it's starting to update that app. So it'll say waiting for a bit, say loading, it'll download all the data, uh, and at the moment you can't you can't do anything with it. You can pause the download if you want if you hit it like that. Um and if you hit it again it'll start again, it'll get a bit confused and then start loading the data again. It'll once it's loaded all the data, it installs it. Uh it just takes a little while. Not very long normally, although <laughs> this one seems to be taking a bit longer than normal. Um and there you go, it's it's done. So now the app's usable again. Won't go into it now. Um, obviously if you want to do all the updates though then that's a bit of a slow way of doing it so instead you can just hit update all here I mean hit update all because I've just heard it's not going to ask for it again but quite often it will uh, if you haven't already put it in and then you can see all these ones that have gone sort of greyed out a bit and say waiting below them uh, loading and installing it act is really quite quick because it sort of does concurrent downloading and um, installing with a few at a time and you can see I've got lots and lots of apps here in different folders. But click on one, you can see there's a couple there that are going to get updated. Um, so you've just got to wait for all these to be done before you can use them again. If I, if you've let it build up to that many updates as I've done there, it will take quite a while. And if you're doing this uh, over Wi-Fi, it's quite quick. But over a 3G network or something slower, it will take a long time. In fact, you're not allowed to download anything more than an update that's anything more than 50 megs I think 50 megabytes um, with the new iOS 5.1 update um, so yeah there you go that's how you do updates with the App Store on an iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad